very unique time. We wanted to offer some meditation and some poetry again from Anne Weems, Kneeling in Jerusalem. We want to shift our focus to what we are supposed to be focusing on this week. The journey of Jesus' crucifixion and resurrection. Today I join you in the youth house. Typically you would hear a pool game or a foosball game going on or students playing a deck of cards in the kitchen. And I wanted to feature this because our students are so important to us at Ascension. I am sitting in front of a um, prayer wall that we have used a couple times during different worship experiences. Students took a ribbon and wrote out their prayers and as an offering tied it to the chicken wire, um, again, during various worship services. I wanna talk a little bit about what it's like to see these situations in the eyes of a child or a youth. Take some time to connect with them, to answer questions and to not answer questions, to sit with them in the worry and to sit with them in the chaos and know that we all come back to the foot of the cross. Our poem from Anne Weems today is called The Story and the Child. The child comes and we dye eggs and make a cake and decorate. Why are we doing this, he asks. Because, I answer, life is about to happen and on Sunday morning we'll catch stars. He looks at me quizzically at first and then grins. It's then I ask him to tell me the story. The only way he'll learn is to tell it himself. The only way we'll learn is to tell it again and again to the child. For myself, this rings true that I get a fresh look at the world through my children's eyes, through the eyes that I work with, with the youth that I work with here at Ascension. It's always amazing to hear their point of view and hear how they see. So today as you meditate, again, I will share um, a photo of this poem from Ann Weems on the comment area. And I ask that you meditate and how would a child see the story of the crucifixion and also the beautiful story of the resurrection.